Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer Twenty Four Seven. I'm here to give you guys a tutorial today on how to record and stream your gameplay using an HD PVR on your Mac. Uh, this is a fairly simple tutorial to do, so let's get right into this. So the first thing, just a few things you're gonna need. Obviously, you're gonna need an HD PVR. Uh, this is mine right here in front of the camera underneath my desk. I will put an Amazon link to this particular mod in case you guys want to follow along with me. Um, you're gonna need a component video source. I'm using an Xbox 360 tutorial, but you can use a PS3, a Wii using the component cables, or a cable box. Um, if you're using a Xbox 360 and a PS3 together, you're gonna record gameplay on both. Um, what I recommend you get a universal set of component cables with the each ends to the different consoles that you have. That's something I uh, picked up uh, early when I first got my PVR. It actually works quite well. So, uh, just because the way my setup is, I can't really show you guys how to connect the HD PVR as you would uh, if you got it uh, out of the box. But I will put a uh, link to somebody else's video showing you guys how to set up the HD PVR. And then you guys can come back and follow the rest of this tutorial. So, after you get everything hooked up, uh, plug in your HD PVR to your USB port on your Mac. And then you want to turn it on. There we go. Then after that's done, the the blue light should come on, then the orange light, and then it should blink up top. Now on my TV, when the HD PVR is on, I get a blue no single screen. But when the HD PVR is on, I get a blinking a uh, black screen waiting for a signal. So after you get all hooked up, what you want to do is you want to turn on your 360 or your Xbox. And just make sure you get a signal. Now make sure your Xbox is set to 720p uh, video because the HD PVR cannot pick up uh, 1080p. Make sure it's on either 720p, 480p, or 1080p. Um, you guys can do that by going to the display preferences in your Xbox. Alright guys, in this part of the tutorial, I'm just going to teach you guys how to change the display preferences on your Xbox. Uh, all you do is you go into the system settings. You want to go to console settings, and then you want to go to display settings, and then HDTV settings, and basically you want to pick 720p or 1080i to get HD quality, 480p if you want standard definition. So this is to help people that don't know how to change their display settings. Alright guys, we're finally ready to record and stream our gameplay using our Mac. Now after you get your HD PVR set up and make sure it works correctly with your system and stuff like that, what we're going to do now is we're going to need some programs for it to be able to record our gameplay. Now there's only two programs on the Mac that actually work with the HD PVR. Uh, the programs are called HD PVR Capture, which I don't think is a really good program to be, uh, begin with. I used it before and I really didn't like it. I think it's a little bit more complicated than ITV is, but I definitely recommend using uh, ITV because it's really simple to use and the uh, the speed and the export times are really, really fast and it's just an all around good program. Uh, this costs a little bit more money. I think HTTP VR Capture is maybe $20 cheaper, but ITV is definitely worth it for the price. I'll definitely put a link for it uh, down in the description in case you guys are interested in buying this program. I'll also put a link to HTTP VR Capture as well. And also to stream our gameplay, we're also going to need uh, Ustream Producer, which is a free download on Ustream.tv, which I'll put a link for down in the description. So first what we want to do is we want to open up ITV and make sure your uh, PVR is plugged in and turn on. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to go to our TV and put it at the input that our PVR is on. And I'm going to mute my TV because I don't want to get any background noise and turn your system on. Now again guys, if your system doesn't come on when the PV when you first push it on and nothing's coming through the signal, definitely check to see what input your um, Xbox 360 or PS3 is at. If it's at 1080p, it will not work. But like I said in the previous clip, if it's 720p or 1080p, make sure um, it's at one of those settings and it should start recording. So as you can see, I just turned my Xbox on and here is my Xbox home screen. It does have a few second lag in between, but when you record, it's very noticeable. Um, so you can do what you want with this window. You can take screenshots, you can move it around, do what you want. But what we're going to do is we're going to record. And when you open up my TV, you're also going to get my bring it into the window here. You're going to get the, um, let me just bring it up, the ITV remote, which is right here. And this basically allows you to stop, record, fast forward, and um, control the volume of it. Um, what we're going to do is sort of record. So to record, you hit the, um, obviously, the big red button, and it records what you're doing on the screen. Now, the lag that you see, if I were to 
move stuff around using the controller on the lag that you see um, in between the system and the uh, recording it that barely shows up on there even at all so if you're worried about lag it will show up any lag but that's how you record you just hit the um, big red button right here and it should start and stop your recordings for you now after you're done using your after you're done with your recording if you want to stream it I definitely recommend hitting command and L which allows you to bring it into a live view and what we're gonna do now is where we're gonna open up the Ustream producer and you're gonna have to log in with your, your uh, Ustream credentials I already did this before uh, starting up camera and what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the computer monitor icon and we're gonna launch the desktop presenter on this computer now what this allows you to do it allows you to record your stream and broadcast on Ustream.tv so what we're gonna do for the source we're gonna choose window and for the application, if it doesn't automatically show up, make sure it's ITV and make sure the uh, window is uh, the component window. So after that's done, you want to go to add shot. And if you click on this, after a few seconds there, you can see that our ITV is right here. Now, if you have, any, if you have anything covering the window or anything, if you have like, if you want to bring this over into the window, it's definitely going to show up. So I definitely recommend putting this on like another monitor or another space and putting it in full screen and then you can uh, start broadcasting with this and you don't need to record anything unless you want to you can just keep this up and the sound and the audio should flow through automatically so yeah guys that's basically about it this is basically how I record and set up my uh, ustream.tv and how I record my HTTPVRs for those that are wondering hope this helped you guys out and I will see you guys in the next video